get involved in a beef, not like that until they get until they start this me straight yeah. up. Like the other day, I said, Josh, go up on some little idiot live when I'm drunk. I say, yo, Kyle, move, right, right, right. Boom! Let's be honest, podcast, modest podcast, modest podcast, and modest saddest podcast. Today, our special guest. You know what I say? A long time I interviewed her, they had to make it in brew some way, somehow, but we know how to get it done. We have Kyle Butler in the place today, you know? Recording, producer, baller, coach, be a thing. <laughs> yeah, man. Big up yourself, my Jesus. You know? Yeah, man, no problem, man. We'll get to down to some, you know? Nitty gritty. Now, music, yeah. right? <clears throat> what are going on with the music? Um. You know, we have a lot of projects. Yeah, man, I cut you. You think them know them for like and share and them subscribe and them something because sometimes I don't think them know, but you think them know? Yeah, well, they know. All right, them like, know. Like, share, all right. subscribe. All of that. You know, do the right thing, man. Make the page grow. The music. Yeah. Bro, music are going good still. I work on a lot of projects. Right now, I try to clear every song I have this year. So next year, I can start fresh, man. Switch it up a little bit. Now I'm going to do three rhythm a year. I'm going to do less next year. Less rhythm? Yeah, but invest more in the um, song them. You know oh, so yeah, I try to put out less art. So basically, instead of dropping like a juggly with all like the 10 songs, yeah. you want to do less songs and just put more, more. the same 10 Six. song effort in yeah. like three. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. You see, I realize so you need to up the quality of the videos and marketing and all that. Cause yeah. I do the same thing two years now. I realize so you need to take it to the All right, now, well, well, forgetting something, guys. So let's be honest, I'll keep it real. Now, yeah. we know your whole football journey. We're not going to really get into that. But at one point, you did kind of return to football and like you see a step away from music. music. You see me? Then we'll see a back in our music. No. Was it that case when you step back into the music, people with it and yo, we don't really have fuck with you, you know, because any moment, no, you can't just disappear <laughs> again, you know, you know, you understand, so. No, I don't know, I feel like, I feel like people them did actually, them low key did know, so I still did do it, so. Mm -hmm. I never like stopped posting music, I never stopped releasing music during that period. And it was a very short period, too. it was like, um, maybe a month. And the reason why I did it, it was family thing, bro. I did I try to get back with my family. Mm -hmm. But at that point, we, st we still never reached that level of maturity where you say, all right, then, you know, it's a kind of the music, football, this. We can't do juggle about it. It was like music or football. Yeah, it wasn't you know a, no. Family, I said, football, me want the music. So, because I love my family, I said, fuck it. I did sacrifices. Yeah, but I'm still like, you find a medium now, because I'm going to try to do it. I'm still like, you're on the coaching staff and Mona yeah. with, alongside your father. Exactly, because now it's like, me and my father have an understanding. And me reach a level in my life where it's like, I'm not also dependent on him as well. So it's mm -hmm. like, let's stress for him. Yeah, as a man, I feel yeah. do what so we have to do. Exactly. So me appreciate the time with him as well. So like, even being that much on him, I really love that now. Mm -hmm. Because it's been three years, so I never see him or talk to him. Oh, three years? Three years. Yo, that time moved. That, it, yo, it feel like a last year, this whole shit did I go on. Three years now. Three years now. When I talk to him, when I talk to Leon in a three years, and I talk to my father, people who I grew up with. You know, so, you and Chippy good now? We still not talk yet mm -hmm. from, from all of that. But it will come though. Everybody have come around. Me and Martin Davis reunite the other day, so. Yeah, that's Everybody a brother can... thing, bro. <laughs> me trust me, I'm going to show the same. Me and my wife, I can't send me to my father for like a year and plus already. And, you know, just take one eye message. Yo, no, my bad. But they do this and, you know, so we didn't get into the family thing. No, music. Yeah. Dynasty Records. Mm -hmm. When you did that little thing, that little small time off, and I say, yo, family, mm -hmm. who did you control it and I keep it moving? I just did obsolete and then you have to come back and reboot it. It, it wasn't on a pause. Okay. I was still doing it. Undercover low key, but um, you know, DJ Mac, yeah, 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 big, big up to Mac, yeah, man, big up Mac, man. Mac was my basically legs on the ground at the time. Mm -hmm. Um, we did all work on a reticle at the time, yeah, easily glue all of them things. So, Mac was a main reason why things kept going for me. And um, you know, reticle, one of the first awesome, I get a hit record, right? 
Yeah, man, king in our work. Yeah, so that video when they shoot out of Bull Bay. Bull Bay with the skate park and all yeah, that man. thing, man. Vertical. How that came along was Quenga. They know Quenga through social media or something like that. And when they link up at the studio and say, yo, I come somebody. When them they fall at the studio, they never know Vertical, none at all. I must say, yo, this is a youth, yeah, bro. It's bad, right, right. So go in there, bro. After hearing him, I say, yo, I have to do some more work together and things. So. Yeah, because I, uh, yeah, I want to really uh, introduce Ritical. Yeah, man. King in our cookie jar, chosen mm-hmm. man of the moment. All of them sound like produced by Dynasty. Chosen too? Yeah. Chosen, chosen. Yeah, yeah. Who else is chosen? Are you all on the chosen? <coughs> Me, Mac. Yeah, Mac. No, no. The reason I said that, I'm going to interview somebody who talked about chosen. So I'm not going to interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah correct, yeah, correct. So Mac is a part of Dynasty as well. Well, Mac are doing thing now. Mac firm enough to stand up on his feet now. So is that case where he was a was a part of Dynasty and in no, Branch or no, he just had no, 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 mutual no, respect? No man, me and Mac was like brother like that. And we just did that work. Mm-hmm. So, I said, anything me do, I said, right, Mac get a piece out of Anything Mac do, Mac could have bust one. But, you mm-hmm. understand? but it was majority of the stuff was coming from Dynasty. But they don't know me and Mac up on the road every day. I can't leave him out. Yeah. You see me? So, no, you as a... Well, like, because there's a lot of hype around two on name. Yeah. Like you and Leon name the kind of synonymous. You see me? You say yeah. Kyle, you say Leon, you say Leon, you say Kyle. You see me? Did that give you an advantage for the artist and for Vice? Yeah, man, that's how that's, that's everything really kick off. Because normally, it, it does a nobody. It's very, very difficult for Vice. Certain people are, you have, you have to have some serious cash to get them for Vice here. But when I said my people skills kind of good too. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, that's why it kind of, right. Them have a platform, reason with them, voice, collaborate, stuff like that. Me no unfair, me no selfish. Mm-hmm. You see me, me no corrupt either. So I guess that work out for me. And is it, is it profitable? Look, I'm talking to producers um, off camera, and I'm telling them more while is like, you see a song, a hit, but YouTube, Pay the least. YouTube pay the least. That is fucks. You get me? And when you look on the Spotify, Spotify now, Spotify, or it's supposed to Spotify, the Apple Music now, Apple Music, like it's supposed to <laughs> Apple Music. Yeah. And then that said DJ, you don't tear my 5K already. Because mm-hmm. for them now, why is it not get cash up front? And you yeah. still have to get them probably a 50 split. Same mm-hmm. way. So is it profitable nowadays for say you're gonna be a producer? It depends on how you're doing a business too. If you you just can't overspend. Mm-hmm. Once you overspend, you're going to always lose because there's only so much dance or music can make. But once you understand, say, yeah, there's only so much you can make and you just be consistent, then two, two grand, the amount going add up. So, like, if I make two grand off a song, I do 10 songs, that's 20 grand. Mm-hmm. Is it me a month? So, so yeah. which, song, which song gave the biggest check? Blue. It's a Ragging King. king. Yeah, man. And your ragging king still good right now. Yeah, man, of course. Did you work? Did you work on anything but an album? Therapy. Um, several for uh, many years. Okay, that, that was you. No, you're not one like composer. No. So do you help with the process of the the the? Are you just like you're just the ears like mm, this one something need pan this? No, I help with every step of the way. The mixing and mastering, the um, the beats, the everything, the, the recording sessions, everything. You know what I say like. You met the beats? <laughs> no, man. You know, um, I work with, as I say, I collaborate a lot. So I would have been the ears, like you said. Oh, okay. Um, Messiah made a couple beats for me. Um, collaborated with him. I have this guy from Trinidad now named 4 7 on the beat. Mm-hmm. Really, really talented guy. He was here in Jamaica the other day. Me and him collaborated on some stuff. Actually working on a Rod Wave collab as well. Rod Wave? Yeah. That's just big. Man, Pun intended. A local artist here. Mm-hmm. I'll call him name, but you mm-hmm. know when the time they come. So yeah, doing that. So is it is that case where what you? I'm fi- not lie though. Well, go on, is that producers me. lie? Is it me? It, you have man what don't make rhythm none tall, mm-hmm. but make you f- make the public feel like they're the biggest genius. They even know what more FL studio. <laughs> yeah, is but it? but that's the thing though. Um, what I them for understand is that. Once them are direct where yeah. the song supposed to go, then play a big part because P Diddy exactly. cannot be a beat. 
Khalid. And and Khalid, uh, no, Khalid make beats, but uh, even not make theme beats them. Yeah, yeah. What we know, yeah. um, there's so many LA read them. Them not Bill read him, but the thing is, you need them. Exactly. I don't think Birdman can make beats, bro. But without Birdman on your project, you're probably on a direction. Exactly. You get what I mean? I say like exactly. people really like again. P Diddy, biggest small, what majority of biggest small song them come from Diddy because Diddy is an R&B person. If you listen to majority of biggest small songs, they're R&B samples. Just like if you watch a movie when they must say, yo, Juicy, like, yo, sample us, well, I use a sample. And I'm like, this sound like some Rick James shit. True. And that's the biggest record today, rest in peace, Biggie. Exactly. Isn't me? So, we do play a big part, but I just feel like when we hear producers, we just have a stigma that on the build the rhythm, but people don't understand. Say you can be a composer and not a producer. Exactly. People don't know. Okay, someone has build the rhythm, and if you tell them, say, "Oh, if you even forgot with this," I'm like, "Man, I know my job done here." <laughs> so, man, no, but if you like, you, you get respect or like of that, that element there. You no, know, people don't respect as much the producing part of it. Um, I would have feel like people don't respect the composers as much. Oh, give okay. As much credit. That's why they always disregard them and say, oh, this guy, they might say, oh, we give you publishing, just go on with your car and give me the beat. Uh, mm-hmm. They might put them tagging at the beat and left out the, the composer. But um, I feel like producing, once you're part of the creative process, bro, it's good. And I really don't care who wants to give me respect or not. Yeah, I do your work. Yeah, I do my work. Yeah, go listen to my work. That's it, is it me? We're not gonna change, we're not gonna read, but yeah, once you're on something, you yeah, learn to cause I can't do majority of the stuff myself. Mm. If, so if, if you're alone, they are the studio with the artist, you can you can advise yeah, him. Exactly. So it's not like me I go. You just did it now. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 before before we even move forward, we could get a catalog our Kyle Butler produced on so the people them can get more familiar. With, with your work? From the jump. Mm-hmm. Private jet reading that you'd have King in our Mighty, that's my first first one. Then you'd have jumped to Glue, Glue Remix. Then you go to My Letter to you, that's how it's Squash, Ray to Ray to and Chosen, and a bunch mm-hmm. of songs there. My Man of the Moment, Ritical this year, Rumba, Cold World, Craft, Sina, Craft, PN, Craft. What else you do? Step, um, all the person, bro. Every majority of the song, them mm-hmm. that hit majority. So, uno, 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 you are made like for sign artists. Cause I mean, I think Ritika would have signed to Dynasty by now. They were no, old. I, it's not even that, bro. Um, every time I think about signing an artist, it's like artists feel like yo, when you have a manager, it's like they need them. You need to mind them. It's I like, mean. <laughs> me, 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 they, they didn't need, but I kind of get where they come yeah, from too. Yeah, yeah. When, when the money starts, the money starts. No, making. but the request sometimes is ridiculous. Like some of the requests. Yeah, they have a talent. Sorry for cutting. They have a talent. Um, but it really, I think my potential is Letty. Letter? Letter about? Yeah. What happened to him? Never work out? Never work out. Yes. Um, no, I really want to talk about that. But all right, all right. We move on. <laughs> is it? But I mean, it is it is a lot of money that needs to be spent, mm-hmm. and at the time I don't, don't feel like say yo we have enough money for you to take on an artist full time and fully invest yourself emotionally, financially to this person and believe for the next. So and then sometimes them not put in the work for even macho you are do as exactly. well. Exactly, exactly, and sometimes I would really love if artists start producing. Uh, and start getting some paychecks so they'll understand that it's not every song that you put out you're going to get back you mm-hmm. know but once you have vision still you know that yeah, this guy has potential so like five years from now you will be seeing back but that everybody can see five years from now everybody see yeah, and, and, like, right now yeah and sometimes it take a, a long while even most of the genocide fans, them, I don't think them know how long uh, Massacre the music. Yeah, exactly. Massacre, me know Massacre, I'm in a first farm. Exactly. But left school almost 10 years now. <laughs> yeah, almost 10 years now. Is it me? I'm in Massacre from first farm, bro. Exactly. Is it me? So, you're right. But who are some of the OG producers, them, where Geek Kyle Butler and Dynasty are strength, or even just like a listening ear, or look at advice if you need it? 
Uh, yeah, called OG, like DJ Fresh and... Yeah, DJ Fresh is my OG, man. Um, yeah, man, I have to call it and bother why, you know? I mean, who do say them really give me no strength or not like that? Who really give me strength as a producer in the auto? Mm-hmm. You see me, like, I'm fully grateful for them, man, and them, man, they... They don't even see me as a price tag. Like, I have enough man who don't see me and say, all right, this nigga got a lot of money, I could use him for money, really. Auto was it like that. Meet Otto, he need have a little, little car, I sell clothes all type. Mm-hmm. My voice run a Sandy Park on one room, small, so. And bro, I man, tell you that nigga work hard every day, every day, every day, every day, every day. You see me, Otto give me access to enough artists. You see me? And that's how me could have branch off and do my thing as well. Mm-hmm. So them man, they fully give me strength, but like OG producers. But like you, you ever reach out to an no OG producer and like no. I say, yo, money. Oh, probably yeah, that's why right, because no, never reach out. if you reach out to that man like Steve, I promise you, Steve, one of the humblest you them. Yeah, man. I mean, but I would, I would never say that any of them reach out to me mm-hmm. or I never reach out to any of them, which is fine. But it's like. I would love a man like Steven tell me how to transition from Jamaica. Because you have, you have a talk, but you have yeah. a talk to us. You have to reach out to us. You yeah. can't expect the <laughs> genius to come reach out to you now. Yeah, yeah, no, man. But again, that is the genius now. Everything in a time still, because once you know that, say, oh, some people feel like when you reach out, it's like you're running to them certain way. Yeah, what's that ego, rush, though? Yeah. That is, but that's the reality of today. Yeah, but I feel like that doing yeah. the culture. To be honest, we really, I feel like that because, I mean, like, me personally, I'm not going to say I did have that. Mm-hmm. But then when I realize how much people really fuck with my work and, like, when you meet somebody, like, who you look up to or you rate, but you say, them man, I probably even rate my dog. Because you have enough time, me say certain things on the podcast, I'm going to feel like, yo, Ah, uh, the dogs are linked with the dogs. Yeah. What they must say that album they are for Chris and go there pre me. <laughs> then the man said that for real now. I tell him to that motherfucker to you know that. Yeah. And you see me? <laughs> I fuck your album for real. And he has the word. Man say, yeah, bro, you know it's not no bias. You yeah. talk your mind and sure, share bro. the same sentiments. And then some will say, yo, oh, I never agree, but them still love the program. So yeah. yeah, for just drop eager because you'll be so surprised. Yeah, chat to genius and genius point, yeah, my being a follow your work, bro. Yeah. You'll be so surprised, yeah, brother. Right, so I feel drop that. Trap dance hall, mm-hmm. big topic of discussion. Is it me? They must say, yo, trap dance hall, it not really do much because even what they interview, not nice. I don't know if this part did happen. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't know how they post this part because two parts of not nice, but only one get posted because the other one, the audio gets fucked. I'm going to do it over one next day. They must say, yo, with trap dance hall, you have to do a hundred songs to get one out of it, which is, is pretty much correct because out of the trap era, we can say, Skilly, get two songs. Mm-hmm. Skeng just get that song. Look at me, son. Look at me, is not even. I would say that's a trap Child. song. I think that's an original OG dance song. Bro, I was in home the day yesterday. And they were on party yesterday. I mean, like a DJ played a real song. I was like, bro, what the hell? The true song. The Little Miss is. Is that, that sam- is that a sample? Oh, I didn't even know. The whole I, flow sing already. Oh, I didn't even know it was a sample. <laughs> bro, bro, I didn't even know. Oh, it's really that sample? Somebody sing that song already. Oh, I didn't know it was a sample, bro. I mean, but, oh, it's no sample. I didn't know that. I didn't, but, yo, yeah, we have people about a trap dancer. I just feel like that's, that's time it need. I feel like it need time still. I mean, labels overseas looking on, on trap dancer and, you know, print to invest and mm-hmm. make it a bigger platform. I just feel it's time still. Um, I know a lot of the OG producers really some old dancer already, man. Them do worse than the trap dancer. Yeah, but again, <laughs> the OGs them cancel them got number one billboard. <laughs> yeah, look on that. The OGs them true. cancel them got platinum. Them are plaques. <laughs> plaques. That's you see me? Because I mean, every time people try to discredit Sean Paul, I always remind them Sean Paul is, went number one on rhythms. True. You see me? Sean Paul has four number one songs. Jay Z has four too. A majority of Sean Paul, a trio of the four Sean Paul have is his song. Right. So, but w- I mean, you know, man, like, they travel a lot too. It's really the true dancer that like, really mm-hmm. play in you know, Europe, England, even the other day was in the US. It's really them, the people, and really mess with. So, I mean, I feel like there's a balance too, bro. You know, you can do both. You can say, all right, let me try this. Right, yeah, but I, I, that's the thing. I don't think there is a balance because the other day I got Cash um, birthday party. Mm-hmm. Wake up to Cash. 
And honestly, more on the broadcast commission ban chopping songs entirely. <laughs> Bro, I swear. I swear, I'm not none against chopping songs. I love yeah. them. You see me? But it's too much. While the early part of the stage show, you know, so the young artists, they're going forward and, and everybody has sing about chopping. Yeah, I swear it was the only yeah. subject matter throughout the whole <laughs> event, bro. Yeah. They need to ban it completely, bro, because it's like, we we'll lose the creativity in the music. The Matayara bang and lie, Matayara, the man them do the local, change up them vice mid song. Hey, Mr. Black, yeah, I'm a tired right, bro. Um, bring something new, and sometimes you don't even have to bring something new in it. You can just go back in at the time and bring something because majority of hits. I want to be an empress a reason and she a play a song and say, Oh, I love um, 2000s RB. I don't like 90s RB. I may say, Without two, 90s RB, there's no 2000s RB. I may I play some song and I may say, I'm play the original. I'll give it that too. Why, why, why dance our producers don't sample as much? I noticed that we don't really sample. And then we don't sample some songs, you know. <laughs> when I get clear. Yeah. All right, come hear them, you know. I mean, I say, I know this shit ain't got cleared. <laughs> I hear them early in the song, I hear them, but I did, what, what, did, why wouldn't I sample, why wouldn't I sample old rhythm and then now we we'll complain when we we'll see Justin Bieber go and say, let me love you and hear Duali in the background. Right. Pan, oh, them are teeth for culture, but we know sample of our culture. How many people know how to sample, uh, um, to clear an um, sample? So the education? The education is, 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 it's like everybody does fear, so all right then. Use a sampler for me. I go to court, man. I get sued for hot drugs. You know, so it's so easy, though. <laughs> yeah, it is. Like, enough time you'll hear people, they're upon, like, case I'm upon Richie Stevens, they get um, sampled by Rihanna with work. And everybody's like, yo, Richie Stevens, rich. Bro, Richie, you probably get 5,000 years to most of that shit, bro. Mm -hmm. Samples are not expensive, you know. You have someone who don't need your money. And I'm making those say, yo, don't touch this. We know why you touch this. But yeah. samples are not that expensive to clear. But then again, I dance, I know when I really. Recoup that much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's say, bro, that five grand day, yeah. <laughs> that five grand, if you clear this, I'm going to know where it's going to go. But I really feel like we need to start sample that. But I'm going to have no problem with the trap dance hall. I've been trying to, yeah, from the other day, my sample, my Eminem sample, my Rod Wave the other day, but yeah. it, don't, it don't release it, man. I mm -hmm. mean, I've been sampling songs, so I've been coming to find out how to clear that. Yeah. But, so I've been, been trying to bring that into the dance hall atmosphere right now but bro yeah with the chopping thing bro you them are saying real music to you know and i and i bring out pain them i bring out i bring out too much pain too much pain too too much pain tell them something too real life situation remember the chronicler chronicler job she's trying to do yeah so while we have good fun pain songs you know bro chronicler i feel like is one of the few artists them that is not changing who him be like what for society is yeah, our heart, our yeah, trend. Yeah, right? not change, you know, so be himself, man, sing him song them every day, release him song them. Who like it, like it, who, who don't, don't like don't. it. Yeah, but he not nah, stop. Mm -hmm. He still I like, get three songs from him a week. A week? A day? A <laughs> week? <laughs> week? Yeah, the man in a, where that? Can if, bro, can you, can you, can you have a ton of songs, yeah, bro? Yeah, the man say, yeah, I'm student, I'm care. Let's believe I'm serious. He's serious. Anyway, I'm stop. Can you got up on the door of vice? Yeah, man. <laughs> anyway, I'm feel for stopping. Good out, go out. Portland, man, guess all right. Bring in studio voices, so get your next energy. Yeah. Yeah, man, they, man, they work right through, man. So who as artists in the studio work on the point? Yo, this thing I work ethic different. Like, him, when, when him say I work yeah. time. Chronic, uh, Skilly Bang, Ritical. Man, they are much Even that Skilly and Ritical thing, they ever get like involved in it? No. Or when they get involved, but sometimes it feel kind of, you know? I guess, yo, yo, what they made their own routine, you know, made their own skill, you know? Yeah, the man, them knows that he's a neutral person. You know? The man, mm -hmm. knows say, yo, it's business, me, I deal with. Me not get involved in a beef, nothing like that, until they get, until they start this me, straight yeah. up. Like, the other day, me say, Josh, you go pan some little idiot live, when him drunk. I say, yo, Kyle, move, right, right, right. You see me? Oh, so you and Josh, you have beef? I didn't know until that nigga went on live. Why? Why you, why you linked with somebody in the link with? We don't know what, what, what your problem. Oh. You see me? And Joshua, I wanted to use them more. when I just start music. Did I voice in my studio? Mm -hmm. You see me? 25 8. If I never feel me, the song no voice. But me, I tell you, everybody, I say, yo, Joshua, go and boy in business. Yeah. You see me? And mm -hmm. it's really 
that song that really scary. Yeah, 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 yeah. That other one, man, never correct? No, that one dropped in, but it never bust fully yet. Which one, one of them might have us? Oh, so be Not 25 years that? No, 25 years ago. Stuck in the bread. Hey, the family, family there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That one there. Probably, probably that was some. And that song there, the man I listen for the live, and this me at the same time. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Just to clear up, yo. Is it me? Probably doing junk, though. You know, so when them man there, after champagne, you know. You know anything can happen, you know, yes, you know them and the thing. You know, I'm not getting <laughs> get into this right now, you know, guys. Honestly. Now, who are some artists now where you feel like, say, Dynasty and Kyle Butler work with, are just magic, but you don't get to work with them yet? Uh, the answer? Any artist, because who want just, you know, get the thing. I've worked with majority of the artists I'm out here. The only person I'm not really fully work with yet is Skank. Is him really so you're with Shensia? And and Shensia. You see, you can't for right. Shensia. Right, let, me, let, me, let me tell you something. It's like, it's when people there, yes, sir? Me understand, say, yo, there's nothing I can do to Shensia's career right now, right now, that will elevate her or me and help her in any way, shape. I'm wanting to see you wrong, you know, my brother. <laughs> yeah, you think so? Yeah, you mean 100% wrong. Just like when they must say about Skeng and Nicki Minaj, I must say, yo, when Nicki can gain from Skeng, and Drake shown him multiple times, say, because Drake is a man like this now. Why Drake stays so relevant, you know, because... Grab the culture then. Him, him, he's a new artist every <laughs> single year. Yeah. One minute... Wait, is Drake from Canada or Atlanta? <laughs> wait, is he from Canada or, or Houston? Is he from Canada or Jamaica? Is he from... Marissa Drake, get, from my knowledge, the first Afrobeat number one in the... One Dance is the first Afrobeat that went number one in the bro. Niggas don't even remember that shit in the bro. <laughs> yeah. So the man is a re-event himself. So again, whiskey, whiskey can not nothing for Drake. But Whiskey can do, Drake can do for himself. Give him a whole song. You get me? And I saw we have to really grasp that. The Drake goes to so boom, Bad Bunny. Man, let's go do a song with Bad Bunny. Because nobody can really afford a Drake feature, bro. You're looking at yeah, 500,000 to a million yeah, US, bro. Yeah, you see me? For a feature. So, he must see something now, way, bro. It a benefit him. The man goes to so boom. 21 Savage. If you look on every big rapper, artist, artist in general, yeah. them top five songs include Drake. Big up to Future. Future are my <laughs> artist. Future run Atlanta. But if Future, Fu- Future that biggest that song. song. All right. All right. One. Remember I said Drake? All right. Little Dirk. Little Dirk went mainstream after the song with him and Drake. Mm-hmm. The, what the song name? Um, Sometimes it cry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm from the trenches. Relax. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro. So... What Dirk can do for him, but Dirk goes to boom and in a Chicago feel. You see me? So, trust me, you don't know what you can bring to Shensia thing, brother, because again, remember I know, look on it again. Shensia's biggest song, them, to I, are from Jamaican yeah, producers. Yeah. And she's worked with the best of the best. Mm-hmm. Scott Scarch, you name it. And them still can do a job and them do with her. But You get me answer, my brother? But how do you reach out to Shensia? You feel like if I... DMR. <laughs> you will never know where a DM can do. I swear, bro. Because I'm going to say, did. you will be so surprised with it, man. Yo, I should be busy sometime. I've been to my one DM, you know. I'll follow them there, I tell. Yeah. And they'll say it for us, make you know, say, yo, we know where you are. Believe me, bro. You'll be so surprised. Remember, my yeah, dog, man. you know, feel, see Cardi B there, see, see, see Spice on it, man. Yo, you, I'm weird, daddy. Because they're still human beings and they still have a vibe. True, Popcorn, true. remember, I said, Popcorn um, get reached out to Drake through Yai Change, you know? Yeah. The man that's a list of music and they point your oh, this and reach out to Poppy, bro. So oh, you, you never know, bro, because you might bring a sound when no producer can. Quinton Miller used to write for Drake. Quinton Miller, nobody? <laughs> but Drake hears something, though. Yeah. You must say, yo, yeah, whoever that nigga is, reach oh. out. So trust me, that. don't doubt yourself, brother. Believe me, bro. Say a word, man. I got so, idea. Yeah, man. Send an idea. Because guess what? You have just, all me look upon life is this. If you don't do it, you never get the chance for to be anything. So if you don't plant something, you're going to grow. You never get the chance. You can't say, yo, the tree are there for a bum grow. The tree no plant. So you never get a chance for grow, bro. Yeah. So just reach out sometime. I'm going to show you. I just got this, brother. Anybody you want to meet, you can meet, bro. If you want to talk to Andrew tomorrow, is that hard? 
Exactly. <coughs> so I'm sure you can have a chance here tomorrow if you really want to, bro. <laughs> but anyway, so half of that now. This whole producing thing and all that. What are the limits you see yourself ago? I mean, you say something about the genius and going overseas. Is yeah. that is that part of the plan? That's the next step I want to take. Transitioning from Jamaica to international. That's the next step for me. Um, I realize say, you can get trapped. Mm-hmm. Producers can get trapped here just re- doing the same thing over and over. Over and over. So like that's why I say oh, I want to really take the production to a level where you know it can be seen as international. It would attract international artists as well. Mm-hmm. Isn't it? So like that's level I really want to go. But I would I really love for the OG then shed some light on how to make that transition. Because people really don't know. People really out here just a freestyle and I do them things as I work every day and I hope say. God. One day, just get that tune, just wake up all and fire out. Yeah. yeah, exactly. You see me? So, but I, I know that there are people here, there are a few people in this country that can make a sound go international. Mm-hmm. You want him now? I know for sure. I, can, I don't want to name him, not my. You see me? Yeah. But I know that for sure. You see me? So, people in Federal start the selfish and actually to share the culture is more money for everybody, more money coming out of Jamaica. Too. Definitely, bro. Because I mean, as much as we say Afrobeat on this wave right now, I'm gonna tell everybody, if you group every single Afrobeat artist, mm-hmm. everyone them, Whiskey, Davido, Burner Boy, what's me I miss out? Oxled, um, Fireboy, all of them. Not one of them. No, if you put them together, yeah. they do what Sean Paul do, you know? Fucks. As it fucks. They haven't done what Sean Paul, the Sean Paul alone. I'm not for Shaggy. I remember said dance I've been a good goal from Shabba days, from Patra days. Yeah. You see me? Afrobeat, this is, this is Afrobeat golden era. It's a them Shabba and <laughs> Supercut era, bro. Yeah, you see me? It's a fairly new genre. Yeah, yeah. you have the fella Kote days, but once I ever said that for say, dance all the dead already. Like it was a staple in America where you have to play dance all music. I want to ask you something. You don't feel like the Afrobeats kind of sounding. Oh, it's dancehall. <laughs> it's dancehall. Now, so they have their own element to them but thing. Are you seeing Africans saying, yo, yeah, that's where Afro culture, where, where, where? I mean, honestly, me, more than no. It them probably <laughs> have it though, because even, even in our rap music, I remember saying, even OG them. Even OG them, they are complaining to, you know, about Ludo Uzi Vert and the trap, because if you even talk about Atlanta music, um, Outcast don't sound like Ludo Baby. True. You see me? And the issue I feel like most people have a trap dance hall is that it not the numbers like with Beanie and Bounty and Buju them did that do. Yeah. When, when it start do that more constant, consistent, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah they're like, oh shit, them niggas really had something. Because remember when Steve came out the game, it was the same issue. True. And then, being in them no sound like Cartel and Movado. Is even, even singing it in a rap music now. You see, singing, everybody has sing. When Jaru did that singing, he was like, you a bitch. Why are you singing, bro? Yeah. Be a man. And singing, singing come from, from my knowledge, don't quote me upon this, singing come from Tupac them days. But Tupac never did a sing. He like, like an R&B artist. Like, think about all the Tupac songs, them Life Goes On, um, Broken Wings, Big Night Night song, um, I Ain't Mad At You. All oh, them songs, them just get an R&B. And Ray, and then now Drake, they must sing. You see me? And then everybody just kind of, right now music, they are one place now, and nobody not really subject themselves to one genre. For what? When Nelly did, when Nelly did go to the boom and do the song, um, I don't remember which country I had to go, cause it all in my head. Yeah. That was a country record, and then we we'll, we'll fast forward, and obviously Ludo Nas X do a country record, Stash Rap, rap. where <laughs> it's the biggest song in the world ever see, because it, it was a, it's the longest standing number one song. So we know as a culture dog, we dance our luck is structure dog and money. Fox. Cause for boss a song, yeah, boss, same. boss a song, bro. Y'all look pan for, y'all look pan like 250,000 US. Cause I'm there at Atlanta, bro. I'm there on big rappers, bro. You see me? Yeah. Where I make you know the game. We get to Chevy anyway. The Chevy, they're on the real people. Them will know the shit, bro. It takes a ton of money. So we know we don't have leverage. That dance hall, like, cause think about it now. Cardi B. Cardi B is one of the biggest artists, you know, not rappers, you know. Cardi B have, don't quote me on this. Don't have a quote me, man. That's shot fucker. Three diamond songs. 
three diamond songs, bro. Oh. An album with every single song on it went platinum. Oh. You feel me? And I think she had five number ones. Bro, Cardi B, we got introduced to Cardi B as like a comedian. Yeah. But guess what now? Sure Somebody saw that shit and be like, yo, oh, you can rap too? All right, then what? You already have a bass. Mm-hmm. Let's put out a record and see what it does on its own. No money behind it. Oh, that streamed two million times by just you? Have two million streams? And then put the engine behind it. So that dance I don't have. Yeah. And the then, may I say this? You don't know, bro. A man can't drive a bima. True. A man family good, a man mother good. He can have an apartment where them buy time rent it. The fuck? You know what I'm saying? He must smoke. He must smoke whenever he want to smoke. He must drink whenever he want to drink. I don't feel like we are making foreign money yet, though. No, definitely. Oh, <laughs> no, definitely not. Yeah. But I said, though, them, them, yeah, them content. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sure, when last we can say, we see a, a dance hall artist get up and say, yo, yo, Whiskey. Like Skilly and Whiskey cool. Cool. Bro, Skilly should have, to me, this is just my opinion, Skilly should have day I open for Whiskey because I've went to stay show and become a fan of artists already. I yeah. swear. I'm going to burn a boy show and I tell you, say, I don't know, like, say, probably f- five to ten burn a boy songs. I left there and just on Shazam. Yo, I left on, hey, hey, man, that song he sing. <laughs> Wait a man, what, what it was? <laughs> I need that song, isn't me? That's so we need if you, we need if you give, but no, I'm gonna have two songs, Kyle. Fifteen thousand them want to fly up, bro. Promoter, they are foreign, broke and hungry because we don't want fifteen thousand. We don't want to travel with ten man. We don't have three manager, road manager. We don't woman share manager too, and we don't mother manager too. <laughs> and everybody want big suite and first class, but we don't have a pulling power. You see me? Nah, so, Mr. Cool said, like, bro, and then no one heard the truth. That's not like me, you know, but I'm not here. I give two <laughs> fucks. Fact, so. You see me? More when I dance all artists. artists, go Florida, my brother, mm-hmm. New York, just the East Coast in general, and they see them do some numbers, it not for a movie. Because we've been do them shit there. It's like, for instance, a bolt run 10 7. Oh, fucking K. <laughs> That's great. That's great. To a other man, oh my God, you got it in your country. <laughs> yeah. But that's bold though. Mm-hmm. You, we know you can't do that. That's not surprising, my brother. Christy scored 20 goals a season. Man, John the ball, I fall off, it done. Fall off. 20 goals, <laughs> you know? 20 goal. And him fall off. But that's Cristiano Ronaldo. He used to yeah. 50 goals a season. So we need to start put back the bar to where the bar really at, bro. Yeah. You see me? That's, that's how the thing with dancers. Some say, you know, you have the right mindset, but I'm going to say, I've reached out, brother, because I don't have leverage no more. Dance has zero leverage in our music. I'm going to tell them, I don't know a genre. Wait, I go back. Because if you look at Michael Jackson, the great. Rihanna can't say she did enough things that Michael Jackson never do, because she had more number ones than Michael Jackson. The weekend, they're on the same part. You see me? Bad Bunny, Bad Bunny doing stadiums. Not arena, not basketball arena. Stadium. Stadiums, bro. And that's reggaeton. We come from. A shabba bin la shit, you know, bro? <laughs> you get me, I say? No. So we need to forget the structure, the, the old heads, them, as they say, the OGs, them, when I get on the game, because even though Uno probably not reach out, them for reach out to. I, feel, I don't know why them say so, bro. It's like them corrupt, bro. Uh, I I e- no, it's the ego thing, you know. Because I got you going now. I'm going to get a one song or I want to read him on the phone. You're not going to call me that. I swear, the man never do that. You know that too. Yeah. You see me? But we we'll have to keep the thing preserving, bro. Like, right through. But I don't know how the answer I'll reach to this point, bro. Like, I feel pe- like they need to start teaching music in our school, too, bro. Definitely. I really think so, too. Facts, bro. Like, the knowledge, of, like, the business of music and also, like, if you want to learn like engineering and stuff like mm-hmm. that, you know, like from a young age, bro. Because, bro, the ignorance in dancehall music is so crazy, bro. Like, people really don't know what they do. Well, I'm going to say two million views and I'm going to say I'm two million dollars. Yeah, exactly. I'm two bro, million dollars. I've been at like distribute like Capillus, bro. I'm going to say producers come in there and say, yo, when I rap, man, right, right, right. But they really do, do. Mm-hmm. Is it me? They don't understand. Like, I'm gonna say, bro, it's sad for see Bob Marley still atop the charts, bro. For what? Elvis not top rock and roll charts. Mm-mm. Michael Jackson not top pop charts. 
them di- drip my mother shit drip do. Because I remember I know people don't understand the definition of technology simplified is anything that make life easier. Remember when a dog we work, work, work talk about records where you have to go in a store and buy it. Is it me? Bro, we have every single song on our phone. So if you watch a Michael Jackson movie, streams them gone up back. Rest in peace to take off. But no, when you, when you check him streams, me go stream gone up, theme stream gone up, everybody streams gone up, bro. But then what you feel? No, me would I want to hear some new take, some take off, but I have to get up, get dressed, probably maybe have a guest in the car. If I bust me, I take Jamaica on a bus, because JUT see them all them mash up. I can't go to the music store, and then probably don't have that shit in stock. Facts. It's always in stock on your phone. Do you get where I'm coming from? So technology, do they dog and we'll not do the numbers then? It's true, but remember I said Jamaicans now buy the music them as well. I, but that's the thing, Jamaican when Sean... paying the, the $5 pound Spotify. But understand, that thing I do, <laughs> but, but when Sean Paul them there, they don't ever that care for Jamaica, because remember, you know, and this is my take, because music big and you can make money all over. But in come on to entertainment, brother, yeah. it's the US. US, facts. Yeah, baller. Uh-huh. MLS different from playing ball in Europe. Yeah. Yeah, baller, you want to play a Champions League. Your yeah, artist, you want to win a Grammy, a US award. You want to up on a Billboard chart, a US chart. You see me? Just like if you're an actor, entertainment again, you want to win an Oscar. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to win Brit Award. Fuck that shit, bro. All right, it's cool, man. I accept it. I get a little quick speech, but they ain't no Oscar. They ain't no Emmy. So I'm going to say that we. We just need some, we need, we need the structure of the thing back in Jamaica. I feel like the old heads them drop the ball because what you're going on. And this is happened to Afrobeat if them don't do this. True. If you look on rap music, remember rap go through them fight, you know. Yeah, the man. first, the first rap Grammy. You know who in that? Will Smith. Niggas yeah. don't even know that Will Smith was yeah. a rapper. Yep, Will Smith win the first. And that shit didn't hear on TV and them boy cut it. Jay Z boy cut the Grammys mad times. You see me? Them fight too, bro. But guess what them do? Them realize, say, the niggas who are signing the checks don't be where the rappers are from. So them say, here, well, this genre is a good genre. Where I make money, I fight. Kyle, you did five million records for us last year. And you're upon, yeah. Do you know anyone who's like, yeah, I got like 10 niggas who better than me in my community? All right, Kyle, here we're going to do. Here's 100 million US. Go find me two more Kyles. And guess what you do? You spend a good 20 upon them career and pocket the rest. Yeah. And then them know. Give me any, <laughs> give me any rapper right now. I'm going to prove up. Give me any rapper off of the top of your head. Baby, little baby. Him have artists underneath him already. Mm-hmm. It's business. It's not Jamaica where, yo, me I call the artist, uh, DJ, and you get a, 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 a two minute on the stage. That's not busting artists in America. You have a budget and it's not your money as for anything. Rick Ross went into his pocket and I give me eight mil. Hell, fuck you know. Warner Bros. cut the check. Just that young money. Young money, you have, Bird, you have Birdman, then Lil Wayne, then Drake, then Nicki Minaj, Jay Z, give Brianna and Kanye West. Kanye West give Big Sean, come add up on two chains career. Push at them career. That's how it go. It's a black genre. Clive Davis, them not in an average ghetto. I go find the next pop smoke. No, like, I really need to pump some more money. So Beanie yeah. Man, them Bunty, my look on Bunty, bro. Brother, bun, bro, Bunty for rich, you know, dog. Yeah, that's Bunty build gully on Gaza, you know. Mm-hmm. For rich, man. And then Gaza bring blood clap, pop can, you know, dog. <laughs> So I just that we need, we need first understand and say, yo, contract. Me and happy with the career, but yeah, I found a contract, I don't give a fuck. Bro, no artist here wants to sign a contract. It's like when they say a contract, then get scared. Bro. So I'm the lawyer, they don't say, have a lawyer read over your thing. Nobody don't believe in a lawyer nowadays, bro. Or pay a lawyer fee. And there's no lawyer that will say, all right, you're my friend, I'm just deal this way. And when you're boss, you don't know. Mm. So that everybody are pre right now. Nobody is pre in the vision. I mean, nobody wants everybody are pre ordering. They say a market's tomorrow. Market's tomorrow. <laughs> How can I eat right now? Right now. <laughs> yeah, at least I ask you. We need something for the <laughs> yeah. right now. A crown, something. 
May I tell you that the sound, I don't, I don't think of a problem with the sound. The question should be, is it that the music is being heard and them don't like it? Or them just not hear the music at all? No, it's a, it's a, it's like you forget. Sometimes I wonder if it's like they pick who they want to make that transition. Yeah, definitely. They actually do. <laughs> yeah, they actually do. Yeah. It trust me, it's a whole as I say, it's a whole engine, bro. You see me? It has with legs and everything, bro. It reach from here, it reach them people, them people mm-hmm. take it from here, so bring it this up, and then them people they just run it, bro. You see me? It says skilly. Yeah, skilly have a serious team or push it team, bro. Mm-hmm. You see me? Promotion wise, all that, bro. So as I say, it's money too. A lot of money. A lot of money. I'm gonna say that I'm just. But what's 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 the move for Dynasty going forward? What can I expect for 2023? How would they right around the corner? At 2023, we want to do my first producer album. It's number one. Um, drop more hit songs and also branch off. Actually, working on something new. You know what I'm two over there? Uh, a Jamaica? No, in in the US. Oh uh, what? Like two I want to try to bring that here. Wait, say that one more time. Two row? Yeah. What, the, the car rent up? Oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay. Come. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to I'm going to try to like also involve like putting services on a hub, basically. Mm-hmm. So like, you can mix and master a song from it. You can buy a jingle. You can request a dub, for example, all of that. Oh, okay. So then, 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 yeah, I got you a medium and then you say, I'm going to get scared. Yeah, so but you know, I did... I think this is Panther Sunday, something like that at one point, you know. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's still if it's still available or still around, like maybe like app. Maybe an app, but if if it, my everything, if everything can be on the phone nowadays, very, very easy. Because I know people that literally don't know how to get in contact with the artists or how to not get chopped. Yeah. <laughs> people are getting chopped for dub every single day. Mm. So before before we wrap up. I want to ask you about this producer culture mm-hmm. where a producer will pay an artist or an advice an artist yeah. and then it's like everything the producer do. He might, he might have to pay for the studio time. He, he, let's say he might be the rhythm for buy a rhythm, then mix and mastering, then the video, and then the artist wants to get robbed. At the end of the day, like, what do you feel about that? No, that, that, I've been in them situations already. The artists, them don't really do that until they're broke. Oh, okay. But, um, I feel like split sheets, you can always sign, do a split sheet before you go on. But, honestly, by law, if you pay an artist a voice, you know if you really are link upon mass a certain way. Mm-hmm. You but if you don't, then you don't know them obligated to X amount. So, but yeah, you have to pay for everything. Bro. Video, mix and master. So you know, feel like say yo, the, the 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 producer becoming the label is kind of affecting. Affecting what? Well. Affecting the music going forward because probably me as a producer, no sir, then yo, me have the golden touch for for really carry the artist to the next level. But man, I have a five grand a song. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I know every every producer pay the artist. I mean. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's just the one, it's like, again, it's relationships. It's like, for example, me and you link, bro, and say, oh, you want advice, me not go charge you. But if you know, if you don't know John down the road, you don't know him from nowhere. But suppose John talent speak for itself, though. Exactly. Say, hear out John first. Okay. Some people don't depend on that. None time. None time. can hear what you say to me to get deposit. I, I don't charge them right away, like, I listen to you, and once you have talent, I work with you. I'm mm. really believing in a young artist. I really believe in a young people. Really feel like them are the next waves. So. Yeah. Well, Kyle, respect for that reasoning, yeah. Just <laughs> okay. want you to know, anytime KC, but Mona, it up, you see me? Why? Y'all want to this old boy, though. Yeah. You already saw Jack, we judge this twice. So, but I love what you do, bro. Yeah. Keep on doing what you do. I'm going to say, I really want. The, the young gun them, especially DJ Mac to him, one of them are really are putting the work. Just continue doing on the dog because it will pay off in what the end. What we need to make sure is that we don't. We just stay together. We stay close. Everybody work together, collaborate. 
that we do make our ego get the best of it, as you say. Yeah. Once we stay together, we can be this generation that say, all right, dance all come with have speak unity. You know, say no pick side, this pick the yeah, man over this, you know. Everybody I work together, everybody I we well, make music nice. Yeah. Is it me? That too want to do. When people don't them can't find you, know? Yeah, man, you can find me on Kyle Butler underscore 77 on Instagram, you know, Twitter. Dynasty, get on Dynasty. Dynasty Global, J-A, yeah. Scorpion Records that I feel like the younger artists then. Oh, okay. Oh, see, I have an next, have an next have label too? Two labels. No, so I have Scorpion Records. So like all the young artists then, so I'm not have turned down nobody. Yeah. Because I come across uh, 450, authentic, Rashi, all of them. You know, I make that mistake the way like, oh, I never get for voice. Oh, yeah, you, oh, you, you kind of pass one yeah. opportunity? Yeah. No, it's not even me pass, it's that I never get to shoot a video for 450. Mm-hmm. They say, like, dog, I free me now. Say, oh, you never shoot a video for me. Rrr, rrr, rrr. Never get to do that, for example. That's one example. So Now, once me hear that you have talent, run it through the Scorpion platform, if you do well. Take it to the next level. Okay, that's that's a that's a very very very. Mm-hmm. So you say once you, you know, if you're clear over your ass, still you're good for over your ass. <laughs> yeah. you know, but you know, if you're not clear, man. You know. But I'm gonna say, bro, big up for that strength. Yeah. You know what I'm gonna say? Yeah, Look out for enough more from Dynasty. Look out for enough more from Let's Be Honest. Um, we we'll still get a new setup. Uh, get some things organized in the Kingston, yeah. But you know, eventually, no, 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 no we are this. Time. Is- Really nice. Yeah. Really like it yeah, but I mean, that, it, it, it <laughs> cool. Here, here when I could it, it's like, it gives like, you can, you feel at home. Isn't it? Yeah. Because it's literally at home. But we are going to get some shit together, isn't it? Because I'm going to really feel like my landlord really yeah, like me that much. So. Thing and grow as well, bro. Pause, but yeah, I'm going to get what you're saying, bro. <laughs> <laughs> People, we're gone. Let's be honest. Look at more. Yeah.